Hi, this is Phil from Masterpiece Arms. We are here today at Southern Oaks Rifle and Hunting Club. Uh, we're going to be talking today about our MPA Ultralight Rifle. So let's kind of get into some of the details of this fine rifle build. Alright, check this thing out. Uh, this is the MPA Ultralight in a 6.5 PRC. The rifle itself weighs without the, uh, right around 7.5 pounds. Now let's talk about this thing from back to front and some of the design features that kind of come into play of this chassis system and rifle. So one of the things that we've always focused on at Masterpiece Arms is being able to sit up the chassis to where it fits the shooter. You know, having that consistency in the same cheek position, shoulder position, trigger pull, etc. only promotes consistency, which is one of the key factors in precision shooting. So. From the back here, you can kind of see the recoil plate on it. There's a whole series of drilled and tapped holes on the uh, on the recoil plate. That is for adjusting the recoil pad up and down and canting it left and right. Set that thing up based on the shooter's preference on whether they want it attached to the area below the clavicle or in the shoulder pocket. And you can again, that's designed to set up to where the rifle has a natural point of aim. When you break your shot, it's on plane. Got your cheek riser assembly here. You can rise and follow the cheek riser. You can also set it up where it will adjust left and right. Got a series of built-in flush cups for attaching the sling. Got uh, two on each side on the butt stock. You also have one up there on the front of the fore end. You have those on each side. This has got a little bag rider on it for rear bag management. Uh, the EVG grip, man, what an awesome grip. Ridiculously comfortable. Puts the hand in a position where you get a consistent trigger pull each time. A straight back trigger pull, by the way. This particular chassis has got a side folder on it. So you got a little button down here on the bottom. You press that button. Stock folds over. Locks in place. Push the button back. Bring it back in. Locks in. Very rigid setup there. Our inclinometer. So plumb off the vertical line on your reticle. Put that uh, ball there on the inclinometer between the two lines in the center and your shot will be on plane. Our mag catch on here, this is our new adjustable mag catch. I don't know if you can see it up in there or not. But there's a little slider plate up in there. That slider plate will allow the adjustment of the magazine up and down in the chassis to where it's presenting the round at a very consistent position each time so that the bolt head will pick up that round and feed consistently. All right, this particular rifle has got the Curtis Axiom Ultralight action body. You can kind of see some of the pocketing in here for weight reduction. Still a very rigid, very accurate action. Uh, the rat rail, that's what you see running along here. That inch and a half dovetail cut is a piece of technology that we introduced back in 2015 that has really changed the stock market and what an awesome idea this is. So the, the basics of it is it gives the ability to have a firm interface between whether you're running a bipod on this rail or in this case, as you see here, you've got this tripod. You know, having that rigid lockup there will allow the shooter to build a very stable position. Like if you're shooting off this tripod right here and you're taking a shot at a target at five or 600 yards, you know, you don't want that reticle moving. And a lot of people are now using these tripods in a variety of different long range shooting applications, both in target shooting and hunting. And having that rigid lockup on there really goes a long way for being able to make a nice, clean, consistent shot at your target at distance. All right, got a couple of drill and mounted pick rail. This one has a V4 spigot mount. So on the V4 spigot mount, you've got an Arca Swiss rail and a Picatinny rail. And depending on what, how you're attaching your bipod to your rifle, whether it be through a, a standard pick rail interface or an Arca Swiss interface, you know, you can flip that thing upside down depending on which one you want to go with. Uh, this has got an MPA DN3 brake on it. This, this 6.5 PRC without the optic weighs about seven and a half pounds. So it is a pretty snappy little rifle. And I personally just like shooting with a muzzle brake 
because it just helps me see what's going on downrange a lot better than not having one. And with this light right rifle, for me personally, and you can shoot it with, with you can either get this threaded, so you have a couple of different options there. Um, but this has got a proof 24 inch barrel profile. And this is again 24 inch. This one is a 6.5 PRC and a 1 and 8 twist. Uh, this rifle has got a Lewis Mark V optic on it with an MPA BA mount. You can kind of see the new design setup we have here. Uh, the top caps are a little bit different. They're set up to where you see these little holes in here in that boss for attaching front mounted accessories like this Picatinny rail on here will allow the use of either a red dot or a laser range finder or whatever else you want to put on there. On that mount, you kind of see those little square nuts on there. Like those square nuts give the ability to torque that thing down up to 90 inch pounds. So if you want a really firm connection, you know, between your mount optic and the scope base, that is a really good way to go. But check this thing out. It is the MPA ultralight rifle from Mass Peace Arms. In this case, it's 6.5 PRC. We can make these things in a variety of calibers, you know, 223, 6 millimeter, 6.5, uh, 270, 280, 30 cals, 338, et cetera. So if there's a chamber reamer made for it, we can make it. Check this thing out at massapeacearms.com. Hey, let's get a little trigger time here.